there are um, foreign managers at Iowa. Uh, so each center has one foreign supervisor and they are responsible for looking after the foreign teachers. So if there's any issues that you have with, with work or Chinese teachers or your schedule or anything like that, you go to your foreign teacher, as I say, your foreign teacher supervisor and they will assist you in uh, any way that you require. Um, so they're usually at the center for um, majority of the day. So you only work in the, in the evening, but if, if you need uh, help with lesson plans or anything like that, you can contact your uh, foreign teacher supervisor or go to the center earlier um, and they will be there to assist you um, in, in any way that you need. So uh, you work about 20 to 25 hours um, a week of, of teaching hours, depending on which center you're allocated. Um, some of the further away centers you'll, you'll do uh, more hours, maybe 22 to 25. Um, but yeah, it's roughly about 20 to 25 hours of, of, of teaching, uh, actual teaching in class uh, a week. If you have any problems in your apartment, you can contact uh, Salma or Tina um, and they will assist you to um, fix your apartment. Um, with my apartment, I've had very minor issues, but like, for example, um, the lock broke on our front door and we contacted Summer and within about half an hour there was a locksmith there to fix it. Um, so I mean if anything happens and you don't speak Chinese, you're, you're, you're not lost. You can get Summer Tina to come and help you and they will translate uh, if, if necessary. So if you'd like to send money back home, um, you can do this no problem. Um, there's two ways that I know how to, how to do. Um, the first way is you can use PayPal. Um, it's very easy, you just set up a, a Chinese PayPal and obviously your Western PayPal back home and you can transfer money from that PayPal back to the other one. Um, unfortunately, they do take quite a lot of money uh, from you. I think it's about 10%. Um, whereas the other method was the bank. It's a, it's a little bit trickier because you have to wait in line at the bank, but it's a lot easier because they only take about 4 to 5%, um, depending on which country you're from. Um, and that's usually a lot quicker. Um, it takes about two to three days for the money to go back home. Um, and yeah, they, they take a lot less uh, of a cut than, than PayPal do. So WeChat is a social media app. I guess it's quite similar to Facebook Messenger. Um, all of the Chinese and foreigners in China use it to communicate with each other. Um, so it's basically a platform uh, where you can uh, instant message people um, and uh, everyone uses it to communicate. The other thing that you can do with it is you can set up your bank account on it so you can purchase things with it. Um, so if you're at a restaurant or a supermarket, you can actually scan your, your phone, or they will scan your phone, or you can scan a QR code and pay for things. Um, it's also quite convenient because not only can you pay for goods and services at, at, uh, at retail stores, you can also use it to buy things online. Um, and you can also send money to friends. So if you go to a restaurant and four of you, or one person pays and there's four of you there, you can all then transfer money via WeChat to somebody else. Um, there's also moments on there, which is I guess it's like Facebook timeline. You can post, um, you can post pictures or videos of your travels and things that you're doing, so your friends can see. Or if you have friends on WeChat back home, they can see what you're doing. Um, you can also top up your phone credit. Um, you can buy movie tickets. Um, you can char charge your utilities, so for example, you can top your gas, your electricity, your water, um, all, all via WeChat. Um, and they're, they're slowly adding um, quite a lot of other things that you can do on there, so yeah. So obviously, there's the Great Wall, and there's many sections of the Great Wall that you can go to. There's not just, you know, um, battling and the, the other ones that are very touristy. There's lots of different sections of the Great Wall that you can go to. But aside from that, um, there's quite a lot you can do. There's Marco Polo Bridge, which is quite close to where we live. Um, which is an old bridge and that's where the Sino-Japanese War started. There's a, there's a great big museum there. Um, there's lots of museums in Beijing and the good thing about the museums is that they're all free. Um, so you can go to the museums. Um, there's also the Forbidden City. So the old, um, one of the old palaces of the emperors, you can go there. Um, there's the Summer Palace which is another old palace that you can go to, which is quite touristy. Um, there's lots of little things. There's the, the Ming Dynasty tombs over near the airport that you can go to. Um, yeah, there's also lots of uh, gardens and things because when the, um, uh, when the Olympics were on, 
Uh, there's, a, there's a big Olympic park that you can go to and there's lots of gardens and little interesting things to see there and um, also out towards the Marco Polo Bridge that I mentioned before there's um, a big garden expo that they built for the Olympics out there that you can go and see and there's a great big park with a waterfall and um, lots of things there. So Chinese is a bit of a difficult language to learn um, but I'd say it's no difficult than learning a, a European language. Um, it takes a bit of time and commitment, um, but once you get into it, there's lots of resources available. Um, Iowa offers free lessons, um, group lessons, and uh, individual lessons. Um, and there's also lots of tutors that you can pick up uh, around Beijing if, if, if you want more. Um, because obviously it's China, um, it, it's a place where you can practice and, uh, in, and you can learn from there. For me, the best part of living and working uh, in Beijing would be the ability to travel. It's so easy and cheap to travel um, around not only just Beijing and the area around Beijing, but also China. Um, it's, it's so convenient and, 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 and quite affordable to travel by train. Um, majority of the, not only the cities, but also some of the towns are all connected by bullet train link or slow trains, overnight trains. So you can get to Chengdu, uh, all, all of the touristy places, um, very easily by bullet trains. Um, yeah, so for me that's the best part of, of, of living and working here.